relatively fun one of these things. What is it like to fly the F-35? It's the coolest thing in the world. A lot of people say it feels like you're on a roller coaster. I'd say that's pretty accurate, but you're totally in control. So you get to go upside down when you want. You get to do pretty much anything. And you've got the most powerful fighter jet engine ever built. So it's pretty incredible. How did you get into being a pilot and then getting into being a pilot? With an so I knew I wanted to be a pilot when I was seven years old. And my dad took me to an Air Force Academy football game. And I watched F-16s fly over. And I was like, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And when I realized that's a job that I could do, I never looked back. I come from a big military family, so I knew I wanted to serve for a long time. But man, being a fighter pilot, I was like, I have to do that. What a cool job. What's it like actually being able to now do those flyovers and inspire the next generation? It's really special. I still kind of don't believe that this is what I'm doing. Every time I am in the cockpit and getting ready to do an air show, I always take a minute to just kind of reflect and say, I'm very lucky to be doing what I'm doing. And I'm just, I'm super excited. So it's awesome. Kind of talk about the difference of like preparing for an air show and those type of maneuvers versus just like something you might do. Just yeah, definitely. So when I am thinking about a regular sortie that I'm doing, like an offensive counter air sortie with red air, with dropping bombs, it's very different than how I prepare for a demo sortie. Because for demo, I'm thinking about perfection, right? Every maneuver is very precise. I'm pulling up at a very specific altitude. I'm focusing on show lines. So just the amount of what I'm focused on is very different. And it's more perfection-based than kind of big picture tactics-based. A lot of coordination involved. Yes, in, in doing the demos, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, from the air boss, the air show director, there's a lot that goes on to get the TFR set up. So we're protected during the whole air show, uh, you know, stopping all the movement on the ground. It's a, it's a big deal. What's the sensitivity like to doing one of these things? Is it just like, I mean, I couldn't even like comprehend it. Right? Yeah. Just like a little tap. That's a good question, actually, because that sounds like when I'm tanking, I think of that sensitivity. So a lot of advice that we give to young pilots when they're tanking for the first time is just think about what you want to do and you'll be doing it. So very slow throttle movements back will help you out. Very thr slow throttle movements forward and you'll move forward. Um, when I'm doing the demo, though, it's not quite like that. I am full stick back, full stick left. Uh, so, yeah, it just depends on what you're asking from the jet in terms of how sensitive it can be. What's it mean for you to be out here today? I mean, your mother was certified as a pilot. Yeah, definitely. I'm so grateful for all the women that have come before. I mean, they're the ones that broke the barriers and made it to where I can do what I want to do without really having to think twice about it. I mean, when I told my mom I wanted to be a fighter pilot as a kid, she's like, yeah, you can actually do that now because of people like her who went through and broke all those barriers for people to do that today. So I feel very lucky. I'm grateful to the women that came before me. Um, talk to me about the fact that you are uh, the, the predecessor of uh, Major Tim Dale Wolf is now passing the baton to you. How special is that? Yeah, that was really cool too. And, you know, male or female, she's an incredible pilot and she taught me everything she knew. So it was great to learn from her. We had a lot of fun at air shows together, a lot of fun at Heritage Flight. We got to fly together and it was a blast. So she was a great person to learn from. Um, talk to me about your history of all the jets you've flown. Yeah, so in pilot training, standard T6, T38. I like the T38 better because it went faster. Uh, and then I'm really glad I got to fly the F-16 first. Very maneuverable aircraft. Um, it's a fourth gen platform, meaning it's a little bit older than the F-35. So the radar is not as great. The sensors aren't as great. But I got to appreciate life as a fourth gen wingman. So my biggest focus flying the F-16 as a wingman was staying one mile line abreast and being visual on my flight lead. And then when I transitioned to the F-35, I was just thinking, wow, I have so much more situational awareness. I can impact the fight so much more than I did coming from the F-16. So I appreciated that I came from that jet first so I could fully you know, understand and enjoy what the F-35 has to offer. F-35 uh, I have to say the A, it can pull nine Gs and it has more gas. I did fly the B, it has a little bit less gas, but hover landing on a boat is something I will never forget doing. And I'm really grateful I got to do that at least once. Can you talk a little bit about what we're going to be watching? Yeah, absolutely. So the demo profile is something that the first F-35 demo pilot, Dojo Olson, came up with, with a test pilot, Billy Flynn. Um, so they created that start to finish, made it safe, tested out every maneuver. Uh, so you're going to see a variety of all the capabilities of the F-35, our high AOA, max performance pulls. You'll get to see a little bit of everything. We've got this giant touch screen in front of you with a ton of information on it. So you can set autopilot look at your touch screen and figure out what you need to do. And you look up and you're exactly where you expect to be. So that's the only time it feels ordinary when you're straight level smooth flying. Yeah. 
uh, talking about the air show that will be here um, and how special that will be kind of be in front of a home audience. Yeah, absolutely. The air show is going to be awesome, and I'm sure Kevin will be happy to answer a lot of the detailed questions about that. But my whole family is going to be out here. It's going to be awesome. You know, all the people that I work with to be out here and watching the demo, that's going to be an awesome time for sure. Uh, you had mentioned uh, flying in a T-38, and I have to ask, is your call sign mock? What's it like breaking the cell there in a T-38 versus an F-35? Uh, they both kind of felt similar. You know, it, it's, it's seemingly kind of a non-event because the jet just gets really quiet when it happens. Um, but if you look at your ground speed, you're going really fast, so you know it's happening. But yeah, it just it gets kind of quiet. It would be different if I was down low because then all the windows would shatter. But yeah, when I'm up high, it's pretty chill. <laughs> Do you have a favorite maneuver? You look over there. Do you have yeah. a favorite maneuver? Yeah, favorite maneuver. I think the most meaningful maneuver we do in our profile is the dedication pass because, you know, that's really a big part of why we're doing this. We're dedicating it to the war fighters that are out there, the veterans that came before. So that's very important. What the most fun maneuver for me is, I think, inverted to inverted because how often do you get to go upside down 300 feet above the ground? Never, unless you're the demo pilot or you're about to get fired. So that's probably my favorite maneuver. <laughs> Tired of it? Um, physically, yeah, it's pretty demanding on the body. Uh, after I fly a demo, I'm certainly not ready to go up and fly another one. But no, I still get the adrenaline every time before I go fly. And I just know it's a meaningful thing that we do. So that kind of is what keeps me going. How long does it take typically to recover from that adrenaline? Are you just swamped after you need a nap? Or uh, no, I'd say I have a snack and a monster energy, which I've gotten in the bad habit of drinking once again. And then give it a couple hours and I'm ready to go. <laughs> So I, I was just speaking to your husband a, a few minutes ago. Do you get a one-up this gig on him all the time? <laughs> I mean, I have to say what he's doing is pretty cool too. Uh, being a combat fighter pilot is awesome. You're the cream of the crop. You're ready to go night one if something ever kicks off. So I think what we're doing is both cool, just in very different ways. And he supports me, I support him. So it's a good balance. <laughs> that is accurate uh yeah on the way to an air show i'll study the show container i'll review some pubs if i need to review the pubs but yeah we've got it all on our little ipad there so if we're just cruising you know for 200 miles yeah occasionally i'll break out the book <laughs> yeah Yeah, I think I definitely noticed when I took off for the first time in the F-35 just how powerful that engine is. Uh, this jet also doesn't like to slow down. So once you get her going quick, pretty tough to slow down. So you can definitely tell it's the most powerful fighter engine ever built. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. So what can you tell the younger generation the audience are yeah, definitely. It's good. It's fun. But doing a job that means being part of a team and working towards something that's bigger than yourself. Every day when I go to work, even when I'm doing something I might not necessarily like, like mission planning, being on the computer all day, I have that in the back of my mind that this isn't about me. It's about something bigger than me. And that's what absolutely keeps me going. And I just think it's a really unique thing to sign up and say, yes, I will serve my country. I was inspired by my family that did it. And it's very rewarding.